is jobs for middle class peoples are coming to an end for tech? Nowadays technology is taking over the world. Robots, handheld devices, mobiles, smart TV, drones all are making things automated and needs less human interaction. These things are making manpower less useful day by day. People are losing jobs to artificial intelligence. Fully automated driving vehicles are exciting enough, at the same time it asking a question to appear as well that what are the consequences are? No to mention technology's advancements are for making people's life better, until now it served the humanity very well. But if often doesn't feel that way. Your goods delivered on time by a drone sure seems nice and exacting, but the creators of the tech doesn't consider the human cost for the tech or at least their impact of the labor or middle class working people. Causing fear among the middle class job holders, as the enhanced robotics and drone with help of artificial intelligence in mass production, over 800,000 of people's job had been lost to tech. A study from Deloitte showed over 3.5 million created still estimated over 3.6 million British jobs will be lost by 2030, no jobs for all those peoples where will they go? Technological advancement will come. New ideas and entrepreneurs will come but shifting from agricultural jobs to manufacturing. Now industrial revolution shifting the workflow so people need new kind of jobs. And this mass amount of people's finding a new kind of work to earn their basic income for livelihood is becoming difficult and is their basic human right to get to work. Easy to say capitalist growth brings about change with both positive and negative. But people with low skills, low income who becomes redundant is less to expect the government to support in the hard time. Main paint is fat easier to see how tech seeming to be a competitive force, it can displace too, when it takes more from the people. Aim to offset the cost of their creations and innovations, but thus far, it's a rare corporate that retrains over making someone redundant. Uber announced fully automotive vehicles for their users in future where they take information from the user about their location driving style and system to make artificial intelligence now taking the job of millions to make the profit more and to keep it for themselves. It's impacting theirs and their customers' safety and in establishing a self-employed driver network. Circumvented the need to consider basic workers' rights like sick pay. Part of the problem is regulation. With tech innovation outpacing everything from education to itself, governments and lawmakers struggle to keep up. GDPR came into play years after data was stored, rehashed and used to influence people's behavior, like Uber, who used information on a critical journalist to shame her, or the 80% accurate behavioral data stored by Cambridge Analytica. What's becoming increasingly clear is that tech, data and the convenience it offers disrupts far more than just people's jobs and workers' rights. It displaces other fundamental human rights too, from our ability to afford housing, the communities we belong to and the information we receive. Yet with income fundamental to people's security, putting in place provision for retraining people in at-risk jobs, creating new career opportunities and regulating industry to ensure the move towards a more flexible gig economy protect workers' fundamental need to engage in work that pays is increasingly pressing. The question is, who is responsible for securing your future?